Hi guys, it's me. Um, today I'm doing a really fun look for you. It's this really browning pink sort of fuchsia with like really goldy tones through it. Um, it's not the most wearable, but if you're really daring, I'm happy to wear it out. <laughs> um, you can just go for it. Um, and yeah, so this is what it is. First of all, one thing to bear in mind is that when you're doing this makeup, don't wear concealer underneath your eyes until you finished. Um, so if there any fallout happens you can just wipe it away um, I first of all used for my skin my Revlon Photo Ready whoa it's on the floor <laughs> got it <laughs> um, my Revlon Photo Ready um, foundation um, mixed with my Makeup Forever HD I'm actually loving the combination of these two at the moment I'm not a big fan of them on their, uh, this one especially on its own but together they make a great colour match for me as well. Okay, so we're going to start off by priming the eye. And I'm using... Usually I use the Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. But I've just run out of it. So today I'm going to be using... I hope I can show you this. Um, it's from my Chanel palette. It's just a sort of multi-usable. It's the eyes, cheeks and lips. And I'm going to be using this one. This shade here. It's like pink one. Next I'm going to be using this shade here, this one, it's called Vanilla um, and it's from my Urban Decay 15, anniversary, 15 year anniversary, I think it is um, and I'm just going to be putting this on the inside corner of my eye This is on a MAC 212 brush Next I'm going to take Midnight Rodeo, which is this top one here, oh my gosh, such a gorgeous colour, um, and I'm going to just take this on the same brush on the other side um, and put this in the sort of centre part of my lid, patting it on. I'm not going to wing it out, I'm just going to take it to the corner of my eye and once that's all patted in and you've got quite a few layers of colour you can stop So next I'm going to be taking this shade, it's called Deeper um, it's a really chocolatey shimmery brown and once again on the same brush just put it on the outer V It's really dark, so what you want to just do is blend this out. You want to spend as much time as you can blending this shade out. The more blended your shadows are on this look, the better. Once that's as dark as you want it, I'm then going to take this pink, this light pink here called Tainted um, and I'm going to just take this on a flat brush and put it right at the top of where you've blended out just like that and using the blending brush which you used with the brown blend this out too I'm going to be taking from my Burning Water palette, oh it's called Burning In Water, um, I'm going to be taking this really really light pink shade um, and I really want like to use this because it's kind of flat and I'm just going to press it up into the brow right as high as you can go. That's going to give a nice bit of highlight. So next I'm going to take this shade here, Junk Show. Um, I love this colour, it's such a bright fuchsia pink. Um, and it's definitely got blue tones in it. Um, and I'm going to take this on a blending brush. And just put this in a similar place to where you put the lighter shade of pink. And start to blend this through. 
You want to kind of concentrate the darkness and the pinkness on the inside half of the eye. I want to just keep blending this out and go ahead and put more of this shade in again with the same brush now I'm going to take midnight 15 which is this kind of silvery rose gold pink and I'm just going to take this on the inside and I'm sort of pressing this on top of where we first put that sort of yellowy gold colour. And I'm putting it into the tear duct as well. Now taking the excess which I had on my brush from putting on the browns, I'm going to just sweep this underneath the eye. And now I'm going to do something that's really fun, and I really like doing this, this is kind of my favourite part. Um, using Junk Show, this really bright pink, and I'm just going to take it in a really small amount, and sort of sweep it here, underneath the eye. It's quite subtle, but I do quite like that. Now I'm just going to do liner, you can use whatever you want, whether it's gel liner or liquid liner. I'm just going to use Bobbi Brown, um, this is in black ink. You could alternatively use the sepia ink, which is a slightly more brown version of this. But today I think I'm just going to go straight for the black. On a really fine brush. If you start with a thin line and build the line up, you know that you'll start getting the right shape. Just going to once again go in with a really delicate pointed brush, and I'm going to put this just underneath the bottom side of the liner. Um, okay, so I'm going to finish off with some mascara, and I'm going to start off by just firstly going through with my Dior Xtays mascara, um, and this is in a brown, so. This is what I'm going to use too. I'm going to go in with my Smoky Lash Mascara from Makeup Forever because it's so black and thick. But I'm only going to be using the Dior x -Days Mascara on the bottom, bottom lashes. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on the concealer underneath my eye. Um, I haven't already put this on. I'm just using my MAC um, Studio Sculpt Concealer in NW15. I'm using a pointed foundation brush from Real Techniques. For the blush, I'm going to be using this sort of it's a multi-tone, um, um, you can use it as a primer, you can use it as a lip colour, but I'm going to use it as a cheek stain. All I did for the lips was I used uh, Madeira by NARS, this sort of really matte colour, but it's got really pink tones in it. And then patted through the middle of the lip, the same colour which I used on my cheeks, this sort of ready pink tone. Um, and yeah, so that's the whole face done. Um, I hope you like it and if you do please leave me a message, comment, subscribe, um, I'll be back with more videos soon and have a go and if you want to have a go and send me a video response I'd love to hear from you. Um, so thank you guys, see you soon, bye!